something that I, when we talk about what they don't want you to know, I didn't even realize that this existed. Um, the Investigatory Powers Act of 2016, the Snoopers Charter, uh, enables state bodies in the UK to handle and examine journalistic material unchecked. The new, there's a new safeguard now, which the previous government conceded was necessary during a legal challenge and was introduced by the Investigatory Powers Act 2024, will better protect communications between journalists and their sources. I didn't realise that up until, well, 14th of October, uh, bodies such as MI5 and MI6 could just kind of, what, swoop down and check out journalists without without us even knowing? I mean, what what is this Snoopers charter thing? Yeah, well, uh, we've talked about journalistic freedoms, haven't we, on this show many times before. One of my most memorable uh, times appearing with you, Trisha, was when you had... <laughs> Uh, Stella Assange, didn't you, uh, giving it yes. that move, yes. moving interview before uh, in her push uh, for a common sense release uh, of, of her husband. And while that case was nuanced, and while I don't think that he could, that if somebody said that Julian Assange is simply a journalist, uh, when material that was unredacted and uh, uncurated was simply dumped uh, through the Wiki, uh, WikiLeaks uh, website. Uh, nevertheless, I think it very much did draw attention to the extent and the stuff with, you know, the, 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 the business with Ed Snowden over the years, for example, uh, that there is a, a, a real lack of kind of regulatory uh, oversight of uh, of government when it comes to journalistic in, uh, information and, and and protection of journalists uh liberty who have brought this uh, action uh one part of which relates to the protection of sources that have been uh, from material that's been hacked with permission from a court uh, by government think like mi5 mi6 uh they say that this is a huge victory for press freedom in the uk and that state spying bodies will no longer be able to easily access journalists' emails, calls, and texts. Okay, huge victory. Uh, I'm not quite so sure because they've got this other big action, which is about the whole of the Snoopers Charter and our rights to privacy, which is still ongoing. And I don't think this was the the biggest part, really. And it's not the case that they won't be able to access journalistic sources. It's just that when they've obtained that information, when they recognize that it's that really confidential journalistic information, that probably it's a democratic imperative that that information and the journalists' ability to hold government to account is protected. Uh, they will then, if they want to then examine that material, go back to the judge. Now, this is a closed hearing. It's not the most uh, open uh, of proceedings. Uh, nevertheless, however, we, we, nevertheless, we end up in a situation where, yeah, they can't as easily access journalists' emails, calls and texts. Uh, I don't think that this is, it's a step in the right direction if that kind of press freedom and the ability for the press to do their, to do their thing uh, without being interfered with by state authorities is concerned. If that's important to you, that's a step uh, in the right direction. But for, for others, this will simply not be enough. And I, I, I think that we are headed for uh, complex proceedings ahead of us between, uh, between Liberty uh, and the government, uh, and also probably uh, more gains. I'm not saying that I think Liberty will win in, in all of its requirements, because there's always a balance, isn't there? Most citizens yeah. see the balance between the ability of the press to operate and all of that, and 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 the need for government departments to be secret, and also the reason the need for us to be protected where there's possible information, for example, about yeah. terrorism. But I suspect that there will be more progress made by Liberty on this point.